Hello guys, today I'm going to walk you through the installation of FreePBX. It's quite straightforward. Here on the FreePBX website you can download the ISO. You have to fill in, fill out the form, which is kind of annoying, but that's how it is. I've already set up the VM. I'm just going ahead and starting the VM. In the first prompt, I'm going to select asterisk 18, since it's recommended. Graphical installation, free PBX standard is fine. Now on the next screen, we are going to have to be quick, because if we don't press anything, the automatic installation is going to go through. And since I want to configure networking and stuff on my own, I'm going to have, want to do it manually here. So just once you see the mouse cursor appearing very quickly, click into the first box. Oops. You can select the region here manually or just pinball it like I did. I'm going to change the keyboard layout to Austrian. English language is fine. Installation source and software selection are also fine. The installation destination I'm going to leave it as it is because it is quite tedious to configure it here. I have only one boot drive, so the default one is fine. I took host hostname I want to configure. It just got a IP address from DHCP, but I want to configure it manually. So I'm going into the IPv4 settings, setting the method to manual. Adding the address 192.168.50.33. Net task 24. Gateway. Here, you ha just have to input the address as you, as you like on your network. If you don't want to do any manual configuration, you can skip all of these steps. Then you then you just use the IP address you get from the THCP server. I also want to set the host name manually, so I'm setting it done. Security policy I'm going to leave default, and just click begin installation. Now it's prompting us for a root password. Right now, I'm going to set a very weak one, APCD1234, because I'm going to change it afterwards. I'm also always a bit scared that in such remote sessions, the key mapping isn't right, and if you are using special characters, um, and the key map, keyboard mapping is configured not correct, uh, you might never be able to type in the password again and have to do the installation again. So I always use very simple passwords like ABCD1234 and then as soon as I log in via SSH or something else, I change it. So now that the installation is complete, just hit the reboot button. Now we're going to watch the VM boot up. And we are greeted with the free PBX login. Now we can go ahead and start the interactive installation. But before I do that, I want to change the root password. So I'm going to SSH in. Root at the IP address we said before. APCD1234 and with the command pass with the root, you can set a new root password. So for the username, I chose admin. For the password, I chose something short. But you might want choose. You might want to choose something more 
resilient. For me, it's just a test installation. The notification email address is my email address, and the rest stayed the same. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Setup System. I'm not going to save that. Now we are in the FreePPX administration dashboard. We can just go ahead and click on FreePPX administration. Enter the username and password we set before. And we should um, be greeted with the installation wizard. Um, I, for me, it's just a test installation, so I'm not going to register the system. Just skip through the ads. Now that we skip through the ads, we can uh, go on with the installation wizard. I want to uh, change everything to English for this installation. You can continue with the Sankoma firewall. Just hit next. Yes. If you are setting up the system for production use, you might want to configure the firewall settings a bit more thoroughly. But for me, it's just a test use, so I don't have to worry as much. Now we are greeted with more ads. And finally, we are through with the installation wizard. Um, whenever you change something here in the settings, you always have to apply the configuration afterwards. So it's rolled out. Um, normally, if you change something, it's not applied directly, which is kind of nice. But it might be a bit confusing at first. So just go ahead and apply the configuration. Once this is applied, that's basically it for the first setup. Now we can go on and configure the system to your liking. <laughs>